Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And this is just going to be a short video, uh, breaking it up from my regular videos that happen uh, every single day between 5 to 6 p.m. PST. But today I just wanted to ask you, what is holding you back? What is holding you back from doing the thing that you want to do most? From actually taking a risk to do something that you really want to do? Because what I find when most of my clients come to me is that they are stuck in a business or they want to build a business and it's very limited, very limited to what they think is a business that they have to do something that maybe they saw they were taught in B school or they saw somebody else create success with it and when I really dig deeper I find that they have a lot of talents and interests and things that are very valuable to other people and so what is holding you back what is holding you back from actually building a business doing something that you really love I just want to ask you, and I want you to think about it. Watch the other two videos that I did uh, the day before yesterday and yesterday regarding understanding what it is that lies beneath your passion, how to actually monetize it, and how to understand why it is the thing that not only you want to do, but you must do in order to make your success. You know, it's like when, when we create our own limitations, it's like we're holding on to a table. A table in a room filled with things that we don't want to be around. And when those things are draining you, you have no idea how much that's holding you back. And every time you think, gosh, I wish I were doing that, or wow, I really hate this, or I can't believe that, you know, this is my life. Every time you think that, you need to ask yourself, why is this my life? What is the story that's going through my head? What story have I created that is keeping me stuck in this place? And that's called a block, a self-created block in your mind. And when you can understand that you, nobody else, but you alone have the power to change your story, change the story of the way that you see everything. It's in positive psychology, it's called your vantage point. If you're standing on a cliff and there's a big uh, bush in your way and you can't see over the cliff to see the scenic view, you change your vantage point. If you are in uh, anything in your life, whether it's a relationship or your job or your business, if you are in a point and there's a big bush blocking your view, you need to change your vantage point. You don't get off the cliff and go to another one because you climbed up this mountain to get here. You just change the way you're looking from where you're looking and then the things around you change. So for you, if you're stuck in a room, in a life, in a business, in a job that you don't like, you need to look at it from a different vantage point. What if? My mom used to ask me, or I used to ask my mom, why? Why am I stuck in this job? Why? Why do I have to, do I have to be here? And, and uh, like after I graduated college and I landed in a job that I thought was going to be my dream career and you know I was working to like 3 in the morning I was crying every night and I was like mama why why is this at, why can't I just quit and she said why not and what ended up happening was a 25 year career in retail and shopping center marketing that I loved but that would have never been open to me had I been stuck thinking that I had to do something. So I want you to really just take this weekend to, to watch those other two videos and really understand 
what is inside of you because what's inside of you is so far greater than what is around you and what is outside of you and what is outside of you is are only the things that you've created in your world there's so much more and every time you have an if or a but but I can't leave that if if I if I do that if I if I start the business I really love what if nobody buys it? What if? Because chances are you're holding yourself back from something that is far greater. And you can't imagine it. You can't put it on a vision board because it's far greater than what you can imagine. A vision board is only what you see. It's only things that you've been taught to know. I call it your Barney's light bulb moment. Long story, but you know, the first time I walked into Barney's, I, I, it was like Wonderland. I mean, I live a couple blocks from from Beverly Hills, but I never go there, and I never walked in a high end store. And after my mom died, she had left me some money, and so I, you know, I'm a shopaholic, so I decided to go to Barney's. I don't know what compelled me to go there. And I walked in there and it was like, wow, I feel like I have just come home. You know, I'm not rich. I, I didn't come from a wealthy background. But everyone there was just so normal. And what I realized, I call it your Barney's light bulb moment. And what actually what ended up happening was there was a shoe sale. And I, Sex in the City was really popular. So I tried on these Manolo Blahniks. They were on the sale rack. They were like $1,000 on sale. And they were purple with like a feather stick in the back. And I was like, oh my God, these are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. And I put them on my foot and I swear to God, angels sang. I've, my foot never looked prettier. All of that aside, what I really realized was that my Barney's light bulb moment is a moment that's available to everybody. It's not about putting a Manolo Blahnik on your foot. It's about stepping into the life that you've always imagined that you just thought was like outside of your reach because in fact, it's, it just hasn't been created yet. You haven't done it yet. Sure, you know what? It seems kind of daunting when you think about it, but I'm telling you, go do that video that I did two days ago. Go do the things that I, I told you to do and you will uncover something deeper and greater inside of you and when you can change the vantage point from which you're seeing your own story you will find a way to create the life that you're meant to be living because our real job in life is not to build a business it's not to get a job it's not to make money it's to grow as the person we are and to become the people we are meant to be and I'd like to add to get paid for being who you are because you know we all have to make money. So if you get paid for being who you are, you get paid for being better at being you. And to me, that's the way life should be. So anyway, I hope that that's uh, inspired you a bit to do some digging this weekend. That's what weekends are for, for detoxing. And uh, I hope that you have a great one. Leave some comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.